Columbus at the uh, Arnold Classic, the Bella Entertainment slash slash whatever boxing thing. Um, in here with Coach Wright out of uh, Toledo, Ohio. Um, just checking in with you, man. What do you think of the action here tonight? Uh, they had some pretty good fights, pretty decent fights, uh, especially being a, you know, a local car. So uh, the Bella and Troy Speed did a very great job. What do you think about Carlos Dixon and his first loss tonight uh, in a very tough fight? I was shocked to see a guy 8-1 versus another prospect at 7-0. But uh, it was a great fight. But Carlos Dixon, you know, came up short. Uh, you know, what I, what I seen from Dixon was, I mean, I'm the type of guys I like, man. I like the type of guys, you know, he, he got the will to fight. He has the heart. Right. The talent is there. You know, he just came up short uh, tonight. side and make them force him to go to the other side and when he did do it, you know, he stunned the other guy. But, you know, who was the other guy from Baltimore? Yeah. So, you know, I, but I give him all the, uh, you know, he's, he's another guy, you know, I look for them type of guys like that, you know, that's going to bring it and, you know, and looking to break wheels. So, it's a good fight, man, but I think it, I don't think it's a loss, I think it's a learning experience. We got a knock, knockdown, maybe a knockout up there with a body shot by uh, Alfred Leisure. On, uh, Jesse Hackett. Uh, what do you think about Fah was only in here briefly tonight? Uh, I don't know. Uata Uata really didn't offer us a whole lot. But what do you think about uh, Fah mixing it up with the big boys at heavyweight? I, I like to see Fah in, uh, in, in, in a more competitive fight to really see. You know, I've seen him on uh, Showbox before. And, you know, and, and, and he looked good. And uh, but I like to see him step up the competition. You know, just to, to make a statement to say. Stefan, Stefan, um, was it uh, Smith? That don't sound right. Uh, Sims. No, no, no. no. Sims. I know you're talking Stephon, about. Stefan, my man from St. Louis. I know you're talking about. No, he looked good, man. You know, real season poised. Uh, set his shot, uh, you know, his shot up right. It looked like he could take a punch. Yeah. And, you know, and he gave one. Right. Uh, you know, but the heavyweight division, man, is it's tough. Because, you know, they over 200 pounds. So, at any given time, you land one shot, is over. Patience and his demeanor, you know, he, he was a very, uh, whereas Fah came across a little, a little friendly, a little, a little, a little. I think that's, the, you know, I think that's, that's the Samoans' uh, nature. Yeah, I that's their know. demeanor. Yeah. A little bit. But, I mean, they're dangerous dudes, you know, they, you know, they just warriors at heart. Right, right. They, they give, they give respect to, you know, everybody they get in there. Do you think the, uh, fans, uh, tonight really, uh, appreciated a value, you know, an opportunity to see three or four heavyweight fights, and uh, that's kind of unusual for these parts. Man, listen, they got, you know, they got, the tickets weren't that expensive. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute. They definitely got their money worth. seconds of round number one, and, uh, your winner by T.K.O. I think they're looking for, you know, this type of card to come back. And Steve! What do you think about um, Isaiah Steen tonight? Being successful last time out against uh, Ellis, um, you guys got one. So, uh, what was your thoughts, man, on um, having a successful Showbox appearance? You know, uh, DeAndre fought on Showbox last September, and uh, he gave us a 12-day notice. And I thought we won the fight. You know, it didn't go our way. The, the judging was biased, but DeAndre did enough in that fight to show everybody that he belongs. Yeah, he gained the fans. I knew, uh, 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 I kn
Um, Sonny Fredrickson's rebounding. Um, ranked in the top 15 in two organizations now. Um, what's what's next for all of you guys? You know, we got Sonny rebounding. Um, you know, similar to DeAndre. Um, we also show Bobby in a, in a horrible, in, in a horrible showing. A lot of stuff was going on that people don't know about. But we, we rebounded with the USBA and get the rank. Um, right now, you know, Sonny's a free agent, so we, you know we're, we're still talking to a, a couple different promoters. You know, but uh, I suspect we'll be back in the ring by uh, the end of March and the early April. All right, what's going on with uh, McCreary? Right now we're in camp in Houston. Uh, we're, we're in camp with Houston, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, make our uh, top break debut on uh, March 23rd in uh, Costa Mesa, uh, California. All right, well, it's a lot going on in here, man. I just want to get a couple of words from you and to congratulate you, like I said, and to see you guys still grinding. Y'all still kind of my original connection to boxing, so I keep an eye out for you guys and uh, want to see y'all finish out a big, with a big 2019. Oh, I think, I think it's real realistic that we'll have two fighters out of our camp that'll be in world title fights this year. That's worth. Uh, and we're going to win those titles, man. And bring them back to Toledo. And also, you know, Robert Easter, he's out of our camp. He's getting ready for uh, Rancis Bartholomew to ready to get to beat his ass and bring, and bring his uh, world title back. All right, man. Let you get on the road. Peace, bro. Uh,